Okay, so this video is a review video. It's something I want to start trying on my channel. Um, I'm presuming the first few are not going to get like any like any like views at all. So I know it's probably going to be a slow start for me, but something I want to try, something I want to do. So deal with it. I'm going into it. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Um, today, I don't know if I'm going to post this video or not. So if you see it, then you know, I decided to. But basically. I'm trying out a product for the first time on this channel. Now, I was in Penny's today, and if you don't know what Penny's is, it's just really basically a kind of cheap shop. And it's because I was hanging around town for ages because I had needed a lift home because my car was broken, long story short. Basically ended up at Penny's for no reason wandering around, and that's when I used to end up buying stupid stuff. So, what I bought and what I'm literally testing out today is this. It is... P.S. Tanning Water. Basically, you spray it on your body and you're meant to get tanner, basically. Um, branching Hydrating Water. Lightweight uh, application. Easily absorbed for all skin tones. Sounds fairly good. As you see on the price tag, it says a fiber. It actually wasn't because I got two bottles of this. I took off the outer layer. And then on the outer one, it says two euro. Which, again, it wasn't. It actually was a 50 cent, so... Actually, it's not that bad to pay a euro for two of these bottles. Um, now, basically what you do, get your water. My legs are white AF and there's Dougie sleeping. So you just literally get your bottle, bit of a spray on, just like that. I kind of already have it done already, but so might have a little brown patch there. Um, I decided I'm going to see how this actually works and if it's worth it paying 50 cent for this or if it's just a load of crap basically now i know this is not probably the most professional setup for me literally sitting back in my couch relaxing but it is two o'clock in the morning and i'm debating what i'm doing in my life because i have i'm coaching tomorrow and i have four hours of training after the coaching so yes so basically what i'm going to do is that's all on now Actually, I'm going to put another coat of it on because I got it today and there's that much gone. And as you can see, to be fair, it's not that much gone. Well, no, there is. It should be full up to the top there. So, yeah. Go ahead and add layer on in a minute. And then go sleep. Wake up. As you saw, my legs are very white. Like, they match my white hoodie. And, yeah. Hopefully, tomorrow they'll be bronzer. Then I'll put it on again Sunday night and hopefully going somewhere Monday I'll have nice brown legs. But if not, then it's a waste of 50 cent. So don't really care. Let's see how it goes. This is the PS Tanning Water. As you can see, it is 150 milliliters and five US ounces. It says to use sparingly, which unfortunately I did not and I have learned my lesson since then. So let's get into the video. Hi again. Um, yes, I do apologize for the amount of toes you're about to see in this video, but um, just ignored them and yeah. Sorry! As you saw, I put on quite a heavy mist, um, and that's my second layer of the heavy mist. It's gone down another bit. As I'm testing it, I'm making it worth 50 cents, so basically I'm not expecting a lot from it. If I paid an actual fiver from it, and I used that much, I'd expect my legs to be nice and tan by tomorrow morning. If, they're, if they weren't, I'd be very disappointed at it, basically. Because that would be... If that was a five euro bottle, that would be about 50 cent worth of this tanning water gone. So, if they're not dark, do not spend five euro on this, basically. Because that's bullcrap. If that's, because that is literally 50 cent, that is a tenth of the bottle at least. That's me being generous to the bottle. 
because that is a good eight at most. So if it's worth five euro, do not buy this unless tomorrow morning I tell you my legs are nice and tanned. Like I'm not expecting them to be very, very dark or anything, but just darker. Um, as a 50 cent bottle, I'm expecting maybe just a nice little lighter shade, darker shade, basically. Um, nothing major. I literally haven't put on any other part of my body. And I'll tell you now my hands compared to my legs before this darkens. Like the worst thing about this, it doesn't tell you any um, guidelines. Basically, it doesn't tell you how long it's dark for. It doesn't tell you to wash it off or put it on or anything. Literally, what I read to you at the start is at the very front of the bottle. At the back, it says salt honey water in all different languages. Um, where it's made... The only thing that is ingredients, which is kind of scary now, the more I think about it. But I think there's a, you can peel off the label there. There might be more, so hang on two seconds. Okay, so if you peel off there, it does actually give you everything. So the ingredients are there. Um, lots of chemicals by the looks of it. Um, It says it's long lasting and it says to add lightly for an even tone. So you saw my massive squirt of a yolk of a thing. Um, it does say caution um, with eyes. It's basically so keep it away from eyes and keep it out of reach of children. Um, does not contain sunscreen and do not protect against sunburn. So it's not a sun cream, which you could kind of guess but um yeah so basically it's saying it's long lasting meaning it should should technically get a bit dark so i'll let you know in the morning what it looks like it is literally just on my legs so if it does do well on my legs i'll put on the rest of my body and we'll see how it goes um but that's like quite a lot just for my legs there's two layers of it on not going to lie but if i was using this for a full body 10 kind of a thing probably not i'd advise it to use for when you're wearing shorts and you want to maybe have 10 legs and 10 hands and a 10 face where the rest of your body is pale white like this i feel like that's better use for this kind of a thing whereas a full body 10 i'd say just go full out for an actual 10 so let's see how it goes Okay, I'm here. Um, I know the lighting's not great because it's front camera and I'm actually in bed right now, but I just wanted to let you know my legs feel really sticky. Like, not like a nice kind of feeling at all. So, if you do actually end up buying this, do not put on before going to bed. Like, I put on a good half an hour before going to bed, realistically. And... It's still kind of sticky, but I know some tens are like that, but it's kind of annoying because it's meant to be water. But obviously there's some has to be something sticky in it to make it turn into ten. So hopefully since it is sticky, it will work. So fingers crossed. In the morning we might have nice lovely tanned legs. Hey guys, so it's the following morning, so it did work. But. It had slightly gone unevenly, but that is more to how I applied it than anything, because it does literally say light spritz, which you clearly saw I did not. So let's have a look. Now there's not a huge pile of difference when you see it in the light, but if you go to the side of my ankle here where it's snow white, and then up top here where it is actually quite darker. But what I will say is around my knee, and my two ankles, it really, really got dark. At the very back of my legs, there's nothing, but it's because I literally sprayed nothing there. So what we're going to try and do now, before I go anywhere, is spray the backs of my legs and just the backs of my legs, and maybe the side of my feet, but it doesn't really matter because I don't think I see them. And like up higher on my leg, where I had only like one coat, because I think where I put two coats actually is where it's getting dark. But the issue with like these kind of things, like tanning kind of things, is you don't really want to go a shade darker when you're this colour. You want to usually look like you've been in Spain for about three weeks. 
So to go from light to dark skin tones like mine, I feel like it's more of a thing where you have to go constantly every day, light spritz, light spritz, and eventually build it up. But like, if you're gonna do that, just go to Spain or something. Cause you know, that's not ever going to be the thing. Like you're like, oh, I have a, I'm going out in three weeks time. So I'll start spraying myself with water. No, you're not. You're gonna wait for like the day before and then put on a dark tan. Realistically, so let's fix this up a bit and I'll let you know later on. So I just came into the gym and I realised they actually look, don't look that bad in this light. Like, I was kind of worried walking in. Like, look at it. Nice and tanned. And like, not even like slightly bad in the very direct sunlight, but presentable, acceptable, definitely. Okay, new update on the tanning water. Um, sometimes I look at my legs today and I thought they look nice, like genuinely nice. Other times like, I was very embarrassed of them because they looked like orange cheese puffs. Um, and I think it's just more of how I applied it than anything else. I think the actual tanning water is really good. And if I did it properly, I probably would have came out with a quite a nice 10. But I literally just went over the top on my shins and nowhere else. So my 10... Take what I got. Yeah, my leg looks really tanned. I sprayed it back a bit like this morning, as you saw. And so hopefully when I wake up tomorrow morning, they might be a bit more even. And I might be a lot more happier. So... That's just an update on that. I'll give you a little look. Like, they are definitely tanned and quite tanned as well. Like, it's good. Update, I don't know if you can tell in this lighting with the camera, but you can definitely see that. So yeah, it has become very, very patchy. Oh, sorry about the toes, but it's the best place to show it. Um, so off camera, they look a lot more orange and streaky and bad. So I'm gonna go for a shower now, see if it will wash off, or even just even out a small bit better. It is looking hideous, and I cannot. Like yesterday, they're kind of grand, okay-ish, acceptable. It's definitely just the way I applied it, because I had no faith in it whatsoever, as you might have guessed from the start of it. But yeah, this has definitely gotten very orange and very patchy because of me not because of the product so yeah seems to be a good product but i think it's kind of hard to apply so it does let you say apply sparingly which i did not and i will listen to next time if i use it so after that i did wash off the tan and a lot of the orange streak bit did come off and it turned out a bit nicer than that a little less dark obviously because i washed it off but then after that I put it on properly and I put so when you do apply it if you ever do use it spray from far away and let it like fall onto you not what I did and go ham up really close because you can put a lot on but it needs to fall evenly on you you can't spray it in chunks because then you saw what happened so would I apply this product again yes I probably would for a fiver it'd be Kind of one of the things I'll be on the line, but I'd be like, yeah, I probably would. Um, if I <laughs> apply it properly from now on, which I have, and I've used it a bit. What I will say is, if you do go ham on it, it will show up, and it will be embarrassing. Just make sure when you use it properly, you follow instructions. Do go lightly, because even though it looks clear as day, there is a lot of... 10 in it and it can make you a bit darker so i've actually been applying it for the last while it doesn't really look like it because no actually i haven't applied it for about a week now i just put it on there um but it's something i like putting on to make me look just a bit sun-kissed um so yeah you can literally apply it all over all your body 
just when you have your when you're going for your eyes or your mouth make sure you're closed and sealed tight and no product gets into it so yes i would buy it again but the one condition i would say it is very hard to see it going on so you have to you do you really use it sparingly so that's the end of this product review i hope you enjoyed i'm sorry it's such a long video but that's what it takes for this kind of product i'm not just going to do beauty stuff either i'm going to do some stuff related to cheerleading some other stuff so you're just gonna have to wait on find out so thank you for watching this video and peace you like